I'm taking your house, your car, and your money. This was promised to me 3,000 years ago. Resist, and I'll claim self-defense on this whole neighborhood. It's our right. All right, Internet, gather around. We've got a spicy one today. You thought the global tech wars were just about microchips and TikTok dances? Think again. We're diving deep into the fascinating and, frankly, a little bit alarming world of satellite navigation, where Iran is playing a high-stakes game of musical cheers with global positioning systems. And spoiler alert, Uncle Sam's GPS just got shown the door. Iran just ditched GPS and picked China's satellites instead. This changes everything. In a bold and silent move, Iran has officially abandoned the U.S.-controlled GPS system and switched to China's Beidou Satellite Navigation Network. This isn't just a technical update. It's a geopolitical shift with huge consequences. Iran's decision came during the recent Israel-Iran conflict amid fears that U.S. satellites could be manipulated or used to track and target Iranian leaders. State media even blamed apps like WhatsApp and Instagram for leaking real-time locations of top officials, allegedly aiding drone strikes. Iran has now urged 90 million citizens to delete those apps, calling them tools of espionage. Beidou offers advanced accuracy, encrypted military channels, and a messaging system that works without cell networks. Perfect for war zones. This upgrade gives Iran greater independence, better drone precision, and improved resistance to cyber warfare. Beyond defense, it strengthens Iran's economic survival by allowing tankers and trade convoys to operate without Western tracking. More than 140 countries already use Beidou, and now Iran's switch could signal a wider global pivot away from American digital dominance. Is this the beginning of a new space-based power divide? First up, the big news that's got everyone scratching their heads. Iran. A nation not exactly known for its warm and fuzzy relationship with the West has reportedly decided to ditch the good old American GPS. Yes, the global positioning system, that ubiquitous piece of tech that tells your Uber driver where to go and helps you find the nearest artisanal coffee shop. Oh, I'm sorry. The nearest artisanal coffee shop. Now, who's Iran's new best friend in the sky? China's Baidu Navigation Satellite System. Now, why the sudden switch? Is it a technological upgrade, a geopolitical chess move, or just uh, an elaborate way to say, we don't trust your satellites, America? Well, according to sources like Space News and UMMID.com, it's a bit of all three. This isn't just about better accuracy, though Baidu does boast some impressive specs claiming sub-meter precision compared to GPS's several meters of civilian use. It's about self-reliance, digital sovereignty, and the clear signal that Iran is looking east for its technological partnerships. Remember that memorandum of understanding between Iran and China from way back in 2015? Yeah, that included plans for Baidu ground stations in Iran. So this isn't some spur-of-the-moment decision. It's been brewing for a while. It's like a slow burn geopolitical romance, culminating in a very public breakup with GPS. Iran just banned Starlink and it's calling it a spy network by Elon Musk. The Iranian government is cracking down on Starlink, the satellite internet service provided by Elon Musk's SpaceX, claiming it's being used for espionage and underground communication. Officials say Starlink has enabled banned messaging apps, unfiltered access to Western media, and even coordination of protests, calling it a national security threat. There even, there's even been reports of arrest tied to Starlink usage, as Iran tries to shut down the tech that they can't control. Musk hasn't directly responded yet, but this adds fuel to an ongoing global debate. But wait, there's more. Just when you thought Iran's satellite saga couldn't get any wilder, they decided to throw Elon Musk's Starlink into the mix. You know, Starlink? The satellite internet service that promised to bring connectivity to the remotest corners of the earth and controversially to places where internet access is heavily restricted? Well, Iran's parliament has officially said, thanks, but no thanks, Elon. They've passed a law criminalizing the use of unauthorized communication tools. And guess who's at the top of that naughty list? Starlink. Iranian authorities are 
predictably worried that Starling could be used by foreign spies to bypass their censorship. This whole situation is particularly ironic given that just weeks before this ban, US figures were reportedly calling on Musk to activate Starlink in Iran, your intentions with Israel. It seems Iran prefers its internet access to be firmly under its thumb. Or, rather, under its own satellite. Iran just changed global navigation forever. They've completely switched from American GPS to China's Beidou system. And here's why that matters. GPS signals can technically be turned off, which China learned the hard way years ago. Now Beidou handles over 1 trillion daily requests across 140 plus countries. This isn't just about Iran. It's proof every nation wants a backup plan. Two systems, one global tech race. Which navigation will power your phone in five years? So what does this all mean? It's a clear signal that the global navigation and communication landscape is shifting. For decades, the US developed GPS has been the undisputed king of satellite navigation. It was a military project, then open to civilian use, becoming the global standard. But China, with its Baidu system, is actively challenging that dominance. Baidu isn't just a copycat. It has its own unique features, like that two-way messaging capability that GPS lacks. This isn't just about who has the better signal, it's about who controls the data, who controls the infrastructure, and ultimately, who wields geopolitical influence. This isn't just Iran being contrarian. This is part of a larger trend where countries are diversifying their satellite navigation options. Moving away from a sole reliance on a system controlled by a potential adversary. It's a strategic play in the ongoing tech and geopolitical rivalry between the US and China. The Space News article we looked at earlier even highlighted how America is losing its GPS dominance to China's Baidu. It's a quiet but significant battle for the skies and the ground beneath them. So the next time you pull out your phone to find the nearest falafel stand, spare a thought for the complex high stakes game being played out in orbit. Because while you're just trying to get directions, nations are literally redrawing the maps of global power, one satellite signal at a time. And in the new era, it seems some countries are perfectly happy to tell Uncle Sam's GPS to take a hike. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the weird and wonderful world of geopolitics and technology. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.